right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that, actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. He's the parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. We're done reaching out. We're going to rely on the great folks there in South Australia. This concentrated area has a lot of great golf. And we're going to look at it and see which courses are the top coming back. five coming that you can play. Back. Hopefully, we might sneak some private ones in there as a result. Ah! And we'll celebrate together because you'll be commenting your top five as well. Swinging in to number five, the Vines Golf Club at Vanilla. Vanilla. It's a 4.4 with 341 golf reviews to choose from. This course focuses on a great course, but great people along the way. It's a championship 18-hole golf course that stretches a long 6,098 meters with a par 71. It's private. It's a parkland style, and it was built in 1964 with bent grass greens. It's now going to quickly move us into number four on this list. Swinging now into number four, Grand Golf Club, a 4.6 with 341 golf reviews to choose from a little bit more. You can find yourself seeing a live tournament at this facility because that's where it hosted one of them. This Greg Norman design course is private. And again, we're sneaking a lot of private ones in here, unfortunate. It has 36 holes of championship golf that we want to talk about. I recommend playing that east course if you can get out here and stretching a long 6,485 meters being built in 1964, the course, but the Greg Norman update didn't take place until 2012. So it's not a Greg Norman course designed originally, but did have some huge updates that would recommend pushing it in that direction, at least marketing wise. But with that being said, there's still some courses left and we still haven't even talked about any courses me and you could play in this region of golf. Swinging in now to number three as we crack this list almost in half. Kalonga Golf Club, a 4.6 with about 194 current golf reviews on Google to look at, again, a private facility. It's unfortunate, but this course dates back to 1922, so we'll talk about it. Originally, it was a nine-hole course and uh, did updates to a 18-hole golf course built by H.C. Rye Mill. The course stretches a long 6,899 yards from those bag tees. It's considered a top destination for private golf and is one of the most interesting classic golf courses in the country. Now, this one is unfortunately private, but is par 72. Again, being having such rich history, it did make some updates in 2008 by Martin Clartree. That leaves us with just two more courses, and we're going to keep our fingers crossed that the next one is available for us to play. Swinging in now to number two, Glen Elk Golf Club, a 4.6 with 358 golf reviews to choose from. This one dates back to 1927, so there's a lot of rich history in this concentrated area, unfortunately. But these courses all date back... And this one is a top 100 golf course in Australia, almost year in and year out. It's unfortunate to find that this is private, and we're starting to realize that this list is all private. But nevertheless, we're finding some great golf. It's link style. Some of these private ones have opportunities for public play, so we do learn along the way. It did have some updates in 1948 and 2004 by Neil Crafter. It's going to leave us with just our top golf course, in this area, swinging now into our number one course, Royal Adelaide Golf Club, a 4.5 with 170 golf reviews to choose from. This one is known as Staten for its golf members here. It's a private facility. It's unfortunate it's private. It's a par 74. That was built by H.L. Rye Mill and Alexa McKenzie. So it's got a ton of history. Stretches a long 7,187 yards with a train cutting right through it in a slope of 133. It's 18 old golf course, unfortunately, is private. It's in the suburbs. It's hosted some major events like the Amateurs for the Country and Jacob's Open, Jacob's Creek Open Golf Tournament. Since then, still a top 100 golf course in the country year in and year out. It's going to do it for our list of top golf courses in this area. As we constantly bring you the top golf courses, think about it. Which courses did we miss in this huge area? 
it's unfortunate that we were all private along the way and as a result we might have to change the name we're going to try to focus on public golf so if there's enough comments of public golf courses that we missed let's write it down in the comment section we'll do an update until then this is the parfessor